And keep that going for David Rose. Yes, good day, everybody. I'm in a I'm in a new relationship. Give me a cheer if you're in a relationship. Yeah, beautiful. My girlfriend and I met online. Anyone here meet online? <laughs> None of you want to admit it. That we met. Well, she's embarrassed that we met online. She's like, "Oh my god, stop telling people that we met on a QAnon forum." But like, I don't. <laughs> Get it. It's a joke, obviously, that's a joke. We met on Ancestry.com. Um, it's nice to be here, it's nice to be here doing a gig for TikTok. You guys are all loving it, everyone watching it. You're just one swipe away from a cat doing a backflip. So this is sick, this, is, this gig could really go bad. It's nice to be here though. I've been doing uh, comedy all around the country. I just got back from Hobart. I love Hobart. You know why I like Hobart? There's nobody there. There's like 200,000 people and nobody jaywalks. Everyone waits for the lights to change before they get across the road. There's no fucking cars. There's like one horse and buggy. Like, they all just wait. The light, I was there with my girlfriend. The lights were broken. They weren't changing red to green. And we were just standing there. And after about five minutes, the guy next to us went, fuck, guys, I guess we live here now. Like, they don't <laughs> move. It's weird. We crossed early and he started heckling us. He was like, oh, look at you two go. Think you're important, do you? You're in Hobart, mate. No one in Hobart's important. <laughs> it was the premier. So it was just weird. Was... And they did COVID differently in Tasmania because every state did COVID differently, didn't they? Every state had their own thing. Like South Australia, Western Australia, they did the North Korean approach. They were just like, fuck it, wear clothes. That's how they did it. And then Queensland and the Northern Territory, they did COVID the way Coles does roast chickens. You know, they were just like, mate, if we just keep it hot enough for long enough... <laughs> the germs will fucking die. <laughs> Obviously, New South Wales, you guys did COVID by the Trojan horse approach of giving it to everyone else. And then, um, <laughs> fuck you, from Victoria. And, uh, you know, Victoria, we did, the, we did it like an abusive relationship. Like, I just can't quit you, COVID. I'll sit in my house for a year if that's what it takes for you to come back. Like, we just, you know. Tassie had a fun approach. Here's how Tassie did it. I was there, uh, you know, the first big lockdown, the three-month one. I was there, front page of the newspaper in Hobart, not making this up, front page said, we've got a moat and we're not afraid to use it. <laughs> Great. I didn't fly back on Jetstar. They fucking catapulted me. They went full medieval. It was sick. It's fantastic. My girlfriend's American, unfortunately, and so she, uh, <laughs> she came over here. I went over there and we both got a little taste of one another's cultures. It was fun. Like, I went over there and I was like, oh, my God, these portion sizes are crazy. And then she came over here and she was like, oh, my God, your teenagers are alive. So there were different things. <laughs> and... <laughs> she fucking hates that joke too. <laughs> but she doesn't have a gun, so she can't do anything about it. And... <laughs> she came to Sydney and got her fucking mind blown in Sydney. It was amazing. Because you guys have great signs in Sydney. I saw a sign in Sydney that said, rooftop bar upstairs. (laughs) Really knew that explains it. Here's a sign she saw. We were in Sydney and there's, I guess there's an ad campaign on your taxis. They want people not to drink drive. And there's a picture of like a drunk person and it says, could this taxi be your plan B? Now, I didn't know this, but apparently in America, plan B is what they call the morning after pill. (laughs) Fucking blew her mind. (laughs) She saw it, she was like, oh my God, if I get pregnant here, do I have to walk in front of a car? (laughs) It's like, babe, no, 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 I'd appreciate it, but you don't have to, like, that's wrong. (laughs) We went to the deep south in America and caught COVID and chlamydia, and while we were there, I met a progressive bigot in the deep south of America. You ever meet someone like that? Someone so right-wing, they go full circle and become cool again? It's the guy I met. We were talking and he said, I would never let my daughter date a homosexual man. (laughs) Can you be our prime minister? You fucking nailed it, dude. That's great. I was there for three months with her. I got, I got fat because of the American diet. And uh, I was checking. Did you know that every country has their own BMI scale? I didn't know this. Every country's definition of fat is different. The Australian government, they have a website you can go on and you can get fat shamed by the Commonwealth. And I went on <laughs> and put in my information and Scott Morrison called me a fat cunt. And uh, 
Then I did the British government one, according to the British, I'm pretty healthy. And then I did the American one, and according to the Americans, I'm on their Olympic team now. So... <laughs> I'm trying to lose the weight, though. I'm trying, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm doing the 5-2 diet. You guys know that one? Here's what it, if you don't know what it is, five days a week, you eat whatever you want, and the other two days, heroin. So, <laughs> it's great. I've lost a lot of teeth. And um, it's been fun. It's been fun. I went on a... I've, like, I've tried a lot of diets. My ex had a diet. This is a diet. My ex said she was like, I've... Um, I'm just eating salmon and berries at the moment, but I have to be careful because I'm only eating salmon and berries. I can get quite tired and I'll need to sleep a lot if I don't eat the right amount of salmon and berries. I was like, you eat salmon and berries and sleep a lot? That's not a diet. You're a fucking bear. That's not a diet. <laughs> when you cheat days, you eat Russian peasants? What the fuck? That's not a diet. I went on a date with a girl once who was vegetarian-ish. Not vegetarian, vegetarian-ish. And I was like, what is that? And she said, I just mean sometimes I don't eat meat. <laughs> I was like, that's called eating, you fucking... <laughs> what? We did the whole date. We got to the end of the date. We didn't get along well. Um, and at the end, I wanted to split the bill. And she got really mad at me and, like, screamed at me. She was actually from Sydney. I don't know if this is a Sydney thing, but she was like, you're an asshole. I'm not splitting the bill with you. The man pays for the meal. That's how it works. On a date, the man pays for the meal. I'm not splitting the bill with you. I mean, what's wrong with you? Aren't you chivalrous? And I was like, no. <laughs> I am chivalrous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. She gave me the clap too, so that's cool. All right, uh, that's David Rose. David Rose Comedy on TikTok. Thanks very much. David Rose, everyone, keep it going and put your hands.